All right, listen, people. Darkest Dungeon 1 was a hit, and it needs a sequel. But we made this game so easily moddable that people have been making what's essentially free DLC for it for the last, like, seven years. Take a look at this. And this one. And these. They're amazing. And the mod is pretty good, too. But we can't make the sequel too similar, or it's gonna feel like we just made something that could have been replicated by a fan project instead. Too different, and it'll be unrecognizable to our audience. How do we do it? What if we made Flagellant a skeleton and dragged him around with a horse? You're a genius. That's a wrap, people. Somebody call Wayne Jew. Hello, I'm Varrock, and this is some woman I pulled off the street. Many people ask me, Varrock, do you... <laughs> Many people ask me, Varrock, you love Darkest Dungeon 1. What do you think about Darkest Dungeon 2? Is it worth buying? Did they ruin it? Does it even qualify as a video game? Get his ass! Oh! Oh, die of blight! No! Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, oh shit, don't hit, don't hit Junia. Oh, don't, what the fuck? Don't, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna tell you all about Darkest Dungeon 2, what I think about it, then show you what the game feels like from all the best moments of me playing it live. So welcome to Explaining, the segment on my channel where I yell at unsuspecting women because that's just how I express <laughs> myself most efficiently. You're okay with that, right? Yeah. Yeah, great, anyway. So here's the premise of the game. It's a little esoteric, so let me break it down for you. You're chilling in your house, right? A zombie college professor with the voice of the ancestor from Darkest Dungeon 1 breaks into your house. But he's not the ancestor, he's, um... Somebody else? R Rot Sekna. What? It's ancestor backwards. Oh. Don't worry, bro, we are friends. Sorry about the door. Also, I did the math and the entire world is on fire and we need to save it with the power of hope. So he reaches out and, you know, gives you his, his hope. Do I want to know what the hope is? He unzips his pants and no! reaches- Characters! Fuck it. Vestal is a viable DPS now and Highwayman can have support abilities if he wants to as a tree. <laughs> Double fuck it. Everybody even gets three subclasses that change their woo! skills even further. Yeah, woo, right. But now everybody has so many skills that we can't risk their character identities overlapping if they have skills that do the exact same thing. So we're gonna have to kill some people. Crusader, dead. Abomination, dead. Antiquarian, dead to me. Tra <laughs> <laughs> Houndmaster, dead. Shieldbreaker, dead. Flagellant, almost dead. Bounty Hunter, only playable through an unreliable mid-game temporary hiring mechanic. Everybody else is okay though, and an emo girl is there now too. And I almost forgot Arbalist existed. She might be alive, but she's not here. <laughs> uh, it hasn't bothered me, but I can see why it would bother someone if their favorite is gone. Yeah. Especially like the Antiquarian fans, because she's taunting them by being in the game but not playable it's very sad for all eight of them <laughs> afflictions stress is out of 10 now instead of 100 instead of multiple afflictions you got multiple relationship outcomes between characters now the relationship meter effectively acts as a second stress meter to account for the reduction from 100 to 10. lastly I have a theory. Mm -hmm. In Darkest Dungeon 1, you, the player, are technically the successor to the Ancestor's yeah. estate. In Darkest Dungeon 2, there is no Hamlet. And like Darkest Dungeon 1, you're still not the characters. Now, they're not just interchangeable adventurers. Each class is a specific individual with a backstory, a canonical yeah. name, and unique memories. Here's where my theory comes in. The horse-drawn stagecoach is the only thing that exists in and out of the expedition while everybody and everything else changes around you. Rotsekna, our breaking and entering zombie college professor friend from earlier, he even talks directly to you before each expedition, before you even pick up any heroes. He's talking to you. Yeah. These pieces of evidence lead me to one conclusion. You are a horse. <laughs> the player character is one of the horses that pulls the stagecoach. 
This one, specifically, right here. You ride along, you pick up heroes, you watch them go through the worst trauma of their entire lives, then you eat some hay, you return to the nightmare world, and you do it all over again. Good. Visuals. Many new and fun team compositions because of new skills, upgrades, and subclasses. Simplification of the redundant relics from Darkest Dungeon 1 that you just exchange with one another anyway. New flagellant. Took a while to grow on me, but I kind of love that he's a walking Halloween prop that shoots acid from his hands now. <laughs> Bad. Bounty Hunter. You can't have him from the start. You have to hire him with the promise of candles. He also replaces someone on your team, which, despite his strength, psychologically feels like I'm paying someone to ruin my perfectly planned out team composition. You also can't hire him reliably because he shows up only whenever the hell he feels like it and an in once per run. Bad number two, memories. Some chapters have interactive segments. I adore the idea of exploring a character's backstory by utilizing already present game mechanics in a creative way. But other memory chapters, the majority of them, actually, are just narration alone. The narration itself is great, but visually, relative to the interactive ones, these ones feel like glorified loading screens. Ideally, I'd replace these with interactive segments, but more realistically, some visual aid would do. I imagine the narration accompanied by two or three still images akin to looking at a couple of comic page panels while Wayne June whispers in your ear about, you know, people dying and getting PTSD and all That'd that good cool. shit. Anyway, Verox Verdict. It's not too similar, it's not too different, it feels just about right, and I like it. If you like Darkest Dungeon 1, and you want a slightly different experience, I recommend it. So, uh, I've been talking a lot. You got any thoughts about Darkest Dungeon 2? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got any thoughts about Darkest Dungeon 2? Well, I'm trying to think. Yeah, all right. <laughs> anyway, time to really show you all what this game is like. Emotions are turbulent, and it's bad for my heart to play it for too long at once. Here's some examples of that from my streams. Woo! When do I get to play my boy? Where's the flagellant? We're gonna play some cards. We're gonna grab some whiskey as well. Time to play. Woo. Woo. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Let's do it one more time. Ah, ah, woo, woo, ah, now. Nah. <laughs> all right, I think I undid whatever good I did with the first one. So we evened out, it's all fine. Who do I want? I want my bros and the OTP. All right, let's move on. No time to breed or naked and afraid. I think I want candles. Envious. Each covets what the other has what? and plots to take it. I didn't think they were ba that bad at playing cards. Jesus. You ever play go fish with somebody and then afterwards for the rest of your life you're like, fuck that guy. That's apparently what just happened. Woo. Killing people with knees to the chest. Jesus, Dismas. Hits hard. My boy hits hard. Boom, baby! Yeah, Dismas got a... <laughs> Dismas got ripped for this game. He did the Christian Bale movie preparation treatment. Oh boy! Yeah, baby! Raconteur. Positive relationship chance. Then how come you didn't fucking make the positive relationship with that other bitch that you hate now because she beat you at go fish, huh? Oh, I'm so positive. I, I just hate drama. I hate drama. And then she starts some shit because she lost it. Uno. Sharp wit, sharper words. Neg <laughs> Okay, that's why. She she negates her positive with her negative trait and then adds another 10%. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Audrey. Get over yourself. Sunny disposition. Look at this. Look at this. Paraclaus is... She was trying. Plague Doctor was trying. 10% positive. She's sunny disposition. She's just minding her own business. Oh, I love playing Go Fish with my friends. And then Audrey's like, you bitch. <laughs> Can't believe can't believe you, Audrey. <laughs> I can, if, if I want to just piss off the Plague Doctor, I can use this move. It'll give her one stress. So that's cool. No point blank yet. I want to take you out. Ooh, Aubrey's into Dismas. I mean, who isn't? We're going to bolster her. Let's get rid of some of that stress. I know, I know. You suck at Go Fish. Get over it. What is happening right now? Hello? What? Uh, hello? 
game. Darkest Dungeon, please. Darkest Dungeon 2, please! Uh, well, Mark the Shamed, you, uh, Mark the Shamed asked me for $5 earlier whether I'd take this or the Black Reliquary mod. Um, I've changed my mind. I'm taking the Black Reliquary mod now because it works. <laughs> All right, our first glitch, woo! Fix your fucking game, Red Hook. <laughs> okay, I'm pressing escape and it's not doing anything anymore. This is the true Lovecraftian horror you all came for. You're stuck in a video game and it won't let you out. You can't fight, you can't run, you can't even go to the options menu. You just have to watch Dismas and Barristan bounce around in their idle animations for all time! Until I press Alt F4, the magic button that cures all eldritch horror. Yay! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy. No! <laughs> oh, fuck. Woo! <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, okay. That's fine. She's all out of heels. Don't need her anyway. You, Dismas, crit this fucking thing. It needs to die. Point blank shot. Get fucked. Critical of two. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Killed by poison! A mechanical contraption killed by poison! Easiest game of my life! Not even close! Let's go! Let's get out of here! Oh. <laughs> Boom, baby! Get fucked! Ooh, that dodge came in handy. Jesus, lay off of my waifu here. Ooh! Nice, Audrey! Sucks a go fish, but good at throwing knives. She can heal herself. This is some bullshit. They're not supposed to be able to do that. Not a chance! I need you two. Calm down, okay? Still unfriendly, but a little better. Okay, you two, you're getting fucking crunk tonight, okay? Hmm. We're gonna smoke that dank. That way it improves their relationship a little bit more, and I can still use Barristan's ability on her. <laughs> Girls' night getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah, right? Barristan and Dismas just look totally checked out, and the reason for that is that these bitches have been arguing all fucking day on this ride so far. But now that they get to the tavern, they're drinking whiskey, three shots, and then smoking some, some of the- what was it called? It was like, uh, fucking dillweed or whatever. <laughs> Can't stand this bitch five minutes later. Oh my god, besties. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing in here? Taking these combos. Stealing my combo. Yeah. I was just about to talk about how point blank shot causes combo now and you're stealing my food combos out from behind me. Yeah. Um, uh... Women. <laughs> what the fuck? I just bought those combos. So what if I ate the entire other bag by myself? She doesn't get to steal that one. Oh, kill her! It's fine. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, now I can get him out of the way. Oh, Death Star, only oh, doing less damage. Oh, poor baby. Oh, no! I'm a tactical genius. Oh, no! <laughs> Die! Don't hit. Okay, thank God. Ah! I ain't no bitch. Oh God. Uh, Jesus. Two. Not even hurt a little bit. Ah. Die to blight. Die to blight, you bitch. You fucker. Die. <laughs> All right. We gaming. Nah, nah. You ain't doing that. You're not doing that. Get the fuck out of here. Get out! Leave! No more! You! You, you're next! Miss! Oh! Oh, did you miss? Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Get pecked! Well, you only have two health, so, uh... Get fucked! Poor doggo. Well, all I did was pet it. I just pet the dog really hard with a, with a knife. That's all. All right, fire breather. You're next. 
Well, I'm sorry for those of you who didn't want to uh, see me pet the dog with a knife, but playing Resident Evil 4, um, I officially joined the ATF as Leon S. Kennedy. That's just how things go. Whoo, baby! Audrey! Audrey! Wait, wait, you don't, don't do that! <laughs> I didn't know he could do it again. Yeah! Woo! Not even close, babe. What? What? I didn't... What? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, shit. I think we'll do that. Give me some bleed. Nice. Oh, I forgot they had death door. Ow, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. This misses my boy. Oh, boy. We need a block. We need block. Block him. We need block. Oh, don't die of bleed. Okay, he can heal her. He can heal. We're good. We're so good. Oh, that block was worth it. Hands are sweating a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, what did I say? Not even close, baby. That's right, Miller. I do juju on that beat. Oh, God. Okay, we got the dog. We got the angel. What is this guy? Cardinal. The brawler. Shit. Okay. He's going first, too. Oh, boy. Uh, hollow vessel. Ooh. Oy. How about some burn and blight? Do you like burn and blight? I like burn and blight. You just die. Thank you. He listened to me. What a good boy. What a good dog. <laughs> yeah, baby. No, no, baby. No, this was. Don't do that. Uh, get back up there. What are you doing? Ooh. 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 Paracelsus, come on. Plague mommy. Plague mommy. Finish it off. Finish it off, come on. Oh, come on! Yeah! Woo! Dismas! Dismas with the Leia! Ooh, ooh, what'd we get? Woo! Love it. Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> ooh, romancy. Yeah, they're amorous. It's a fancy old way of saying oh, they got it going on. Oh, they fucking. <laughs> That's the crude modern way of saying it. It sounds much cooler when you say the two adventurers have become amorous. <laughs> they're waiting for marriage. Don't be good. <laughs> they're waiting to. They're gonna die before they get married. Might as well do it now. Floofy boy for two dollars. Thank you. And that's the says, is Dismas a top or a bottom debate? He's obviously a top, and anybody who thinks otherwise is wrong. Come on, Barristan. Get the kill here. Dismas would have got the kill. That's why he's a top. 27! Holy shit! I take it back. She might be the top. She's doing 27 damage with a melee. Holy shit. Hold on. I might change my mind. Dismas might be the bottom between the two of them. Magma Fox for $2.01. Ooh, he's one upping you for two cents. Dismas is a top, no question. <laughs> I thought so too until I saw that big 27 pop up on screen. I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth now. Ah, uh, just a seven? Okay, no, Dismas is a top. Whoa! Oh, Dismas is setting it up and Audrey is hitting him down. Dismas, finish him off with an 18. Yeah, baby. <laughs> both tops. It's a competition every time. They're both tops. I think you might be right. With that, with the crits that they're hitting, with the way that they're cooperating, I think they're just they're just tops. Every time that they're amorous, it's just a constant brawl. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Miss. Nice. Oh. Oh no. Oh, uh, my first affliction at the very end. <laughs> I just got an achievement on Steam that says, don't make me turn this coach around. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna die at the very end, Barristan? No! You bitch. Whoo! Yeah, get fucked! Oh man, without Barristan, this might be the end. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! 
Not the plague, mommy. God, I can't even repost it. There we go. Good God. What the fuck? What is this difficulty increase? I can't even do anything. Dismas is the true top. <laughs> he lives to the end. He is the final survivor. I guess this is it for old Dismas. Ah, man. Getting that far is pretty impressive on a first run. Thank you. Oh, man, that was a really good run. First run, we didn't get an affliction or a death until the very end. That was pretty crazy. Dismas, the true top, will always be remembered. That's right. He made it to the very end. He secured his place. Lava Seer for $2.10. Very specific amount. Thank you, says... Quiet magma, Dismas cowered behind his friend's body. <laughs> That's true. All right, this art is from uh, Rare RB Guru Tuba. <laughs> I played Uno. <laughs> but she called Uno <laughs> and Audrey said, you bitch. That is excellent, thank you. This is hilarious, thank you. All right, uh, Dograg, I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of these super chats are kind of bathed in Malice. <laughs> They're fighting. They're fighting with these super chats, Dog Rack. Are you okay with that? Are you okay eating these these malicious infused treats? <laughs> you think she's gonna say no? <laughs> you know, I don't think she will. <laughs> Why are you here? Because I wanted to see the dog too. <laughs> I didn't invite you in. You okay. steal my con no, I guess fine. You steal my combos. Yeah, come in here. All right, uh, Lava Seer for $25 says, no top, no balls, no nothing. His dad was a bottom. His grandfather was a bottom. <laughs> Every pet fish he owned was a bottom. Varrock, I'm ending the war. Uh-oh. Are you ending it with peace or are you ending it with a killing blow? I'm kind of worried. <laughs> Listen, Mine let's all have a good time. Me. Can't everybody just get along? Right as I say that. Magma Fox for $50. <laughs> says his top energy is more than anyone more than you more than me more than vera he is more of a top than flagella his actions will be etched into the stars and his top energy will be felt for as long as there are stars in the sky you're the bottom lava thank you <laughs> thank you that was a decisive statement to end the war and then trilby for two dollars says <laughs> Listen, it's got a G in it. It's flagellant. I decree. This is the Verrock dictatorship. It's my stream, and I decide how to pronounce the characters. What did they do to my boy? What did they do to my boy? He's a skeleton now. <laughs> wait, let, let me let me put the image back on screen. Not, oh, wait, not that one. <laughs> I mean, I do like that art, but not right now. <laughs> They turned my boy into a skeleton rocking chair. Holy shit! What the fuck? Vestal a damage class now. What the fuck? No <laughs> they all look so, like, stoic and badass. And Flagella's like, ah! <laughs> I'm in constant pain! Life is agony! All right. Time to see... Who gets salty for the rest of their lives about a game of Go Fish? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Junie is getting salty. She was complaining about the rules. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine being, like, poor and homeless and your house has been set on fire by these crazy fanatics and then a party of four comes up to help you and this is the guy you see first? <laughs> I'll take our chances with the fucking cultists. Do I have to defeat all three rounds of the lair? Don't I have a candle? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm not. I'm not ready to look at you yet. Jeez! Oh God! 
The sound on that is so cool. I really like how those punches sound. A big meaty thwack on them. Jesus. The sound and the animation on that makes this guy feel stronger than the final boss that I fought just a bit ago. His punches just land so hard. <laughs> Except for when they don't land at all, bitch. <laughs> a whole one damage. You resisted it. A whole two damage. Oh, I had block. Ain't that a bitch. Get out of my sight. Oh no, books. Librarian. Uh, I worked in a library for a while, and uh, I can confirm this is what all librarians look like. They always keep the master librarian locked away in the closet, because this is him. They don't want to show him off to the public. Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Get fucked! No dodge for you! Tracking shot! We're gonna do one of these. Ooh! Hit through the dodge and the blind! Easy game! There we go. More blight. Stack it up. Dodged. Easy game. <laughs> Easy game. All right. Stack up that blight. Critical again. Uh-oh. Ah, too stressed not to. Ow, God. I always forget. I'm like, oh, too stressed. That's not that bad. And then he does the big AoE attack. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God! Okay, I need Dismas alive. Oh, no. He's gonna go down with a repost at least. No! Dismas! Jesus! Why was he doing it over and over? Oh, it's, uh, it, it has to be because once all the books go away, that's just what he does every turn. Jesus Christ. Toxic? Oh, the toxic game. Whoa, ooh. Apply two to attacker. Whoa. No! <laughs> I wasn't done reading. Stop it. Apply two blight to attackers when hit per toxic token. Last until the end of combat. So that's why I want to build stress on him. Okay, let me just kill myself with my self-damaging move here real quick. <laughs> oh, God. That's why you don't hit the books. Yeah, I think I only hit the books with one AOE, uh, AOE move. Damn. The new characters are failing me. It's obviously their fault and not mine. <laughs> We'll see if Toxic is okay, or if it's like uh, Ravenous in Darkest Dungeon 1 where he's still kind of a pain in the ass. Like it's good, it has its benefits, but also I don't know if Toxic comes with being a toxic gamer and making all of his allies stressed out too. Be Bone lad, gonna say some gamer words. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my chat filter. But, but, <laughs> Damien. Do it, I'm becoming a toxic gamer. <laughs> Look at you, you can just barely see Dismas going like, ugh, this fucking guy. <laughs> In the light or no time to breed. I don't need to breed. I've already bred. <laughs> don't need to breed anymore. <laughs> don't lecture me. It's my stream. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> don't bonk me. The horny stick only makes me more powerful. You think the horny stick is your friend? I was brought into the horny, molded by it. Boom, bitch! A trivial worryment. A trivial worryment. And ba boom! All right. Easiest game of my life. Let's fuck him up. This time will be different. We have poison, we have poison, and we have, uh, uh, Dismas is gonna have a harder time here. Shit. <laughs> if we can get, uh, he might just have to tracking shot over and over. <laughs> get the combo. No, that's, yeah, that's actually fine. He can just tracking shot for the combo. And she'll use her, uh, her poison over and over. Easy game. Easy game. 
Uh oh, here comes the pain. Ah! That actually wasn't too bad. Oh, I forgot that hurts me. Oh no, I forgot that hurts me. Don't hit Damien. Die of poison or of judgment, you bitch! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I got a Steam achievement says, Overdue notice. The unabridged edition. <laughs> All these fucking book references. Ooh. All right. Cross your fingers. I know this one's going to be positive, but... Audrey and Damien, they had a little bit of a scuffle playing Go Fish earlier. Woo! Drinking whiskey got them over their grudge from playing Go Fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm tempted. Fuck it, we ball! Shambler looking pretty good. Do I point blank shot? It has a 100% chance to hit and minimum 13 damage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, get fucked. Dismas OP. Stop spawning clapper claws. Jesus Christ. Stop it. Oh boy. Get his ass! Oh! Oh, die of blight! No! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Wait! Oh shit! Don't hit! Don't hit Junior! Oh, don't, what the fuck? Do I? Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, I just about had a heart attack myself there. Holy shit. Luck? That was pure skill, you kidding me? Verak always wins, baby. Verak always wins. Hey there, thanks for watching to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. And a special thank you to my shady cabal of video elites and connoisseurs. Your blood money funds production of these videos. Thank you as well to all the new channel members since I began occasionally streaming. I hope you enjoy those emotes. More Verox explaining and behind the scenes stuff on Patreon from this video, so if you're interested, consider pledging. And as always, more reviews to come. Patrons and members alike, your support is very much appreciated. I love you all very much. Thanks again, and see you next time.